Okay, so I thought I'd also record a video of this problem, I and mean, sometimes it helps to have somebody walk you through it. Okay, so um, this is this is from page sixty-five in the in the Think Two textbook, and let's see. Um, so when they give me these two-way tables, so these two two categories, predicted rain. Here, let me go to just have a different pointer so I can see it better. Um, predicted rain or no predicted no rain so two different categories here and then two different categories on top yes or no right so this is a two-way table when they don't give me the totals i i want to i want to write those totals so here let me actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to use paints tools rather than well let me oh, no, i gotta come back here here we go now i can see that cursor a little better so i'm going to do the totals here we do the totals here. And then of course, I know the table total is 365 days. Let me put some lines in there, that helps. Helps my eyes track them better. So 365. So let's see, I've got 120 days where the report predicted rain and I've got 345 days or 245 days where a minute here. I'm switching back and forth between Zoom and Paints tools. Here we go. And then, so this is 245. Now I do the, these column totals. So it was, it was 142 days it actually rained. And let's see, what is that? Uh, 223 days it actually rained. And that was add to 365 both ways. So good. Now I might not need all those values, but I got I have them that way. So if one day is randomly selected, what's the probability that it's correct? So so this is just out of the total. So um, so correct is here. Let's go look at this. So if report predicted rain, it actually rained. Yes, 102 days, and report predicted no rain, and and uh, it did actually not rain. So that's 205. So we gotta add these up. And that's out of the total 365. So uh, come on, pointer, there we go. So my total, so the, this prob is the probability that the report was correct is equal to 102 plus 205, all divided by 365 whatever that answer is. And of course you get the answers in the back of the books, you can look that up. I'm not gonna finish calculating that. And then B, um, B, the clear pointer now, see how it says it rained given that it was predicted rain. So this is a conditional probability now, of course, this is the conditional probability section. So and that makes sense that it's that. So what we're gonna do is now we're not, now we're not interested in the whole 365 days. We're only interested in um, where it's predicted to rain. So let's see here, let's come up, I'm gonna do this underlining. Predicted to rain, so the report predicted it, there was gonna be rain 120 times. And how many times did it rain when it was predicted? Well, 102 times. So we can crunch that in here. I think a decimal would be more useful. We could certainly probably re, why did I write 120? Should be 102, shouldn't it? 102. A little dyslexia going on here. Or at least just being an old fart. I don't know. 102. There we go. So 102 divided by 120. So 0.85. So 85% probability that it rained given that it was supposed to rain. And then did not rain. When it was predicted not to rain, well, there, how many times did it not rain? Well, let's see. I mean, I see, predicted it was not to rain. So it predicted, uh, yeah, so 245. But well, that's interesting that this um, is just going across the rows. Yeah, I'm right. I'm using the not rain. I'm using the two. I was wondering if I shouldn't be using the column. But no, I'm looking. I'm looking for the the given. They didn't word it given here, and that's what was throwing me for a minute. 
making sure I was doing this right. So it did not rain when it was predicted to rain. So see, that's that's the group that we're looking at. So we're, we're only concerned about this 245 days and that's out of 205. Okay. So 205 and what is that? 205 divided by 245. Uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, two, no, I didn't type that in right. 205 divided by 245. I'm getting about 0.836. 0 0.836, so 0.84. So based on these results, is the weather forecast better predict rain or better predict no rain? Well, looking at those results, they're pretty darn close. So I don't know that that's right now. Am I right? Let me pause this video and I'll go dig up the answers. Okay, so I was questioning myself and I'm I see I see that I was uh, I was okay. Let me scroll up just a little bit. Where's 10A? Yeah, see, it's not a conditional probability. So 307 out of 365. Is that what I got? I don't know now. I don't even remember. Uh, yeah, 307. I never actually finished doing that addition, did I? And then I got these two probabilities correct. I mean, if we go back and look at those answers here, where are they? Um, yeah, so point eighty. But now Dr. Stevens is saying they're better at predicting no rain because it was 83, 85% compared to 83%, 84% of ground. I don't know. I think that's, yeah, he's right. I think it's awful close to be saying that one's better than the other. But that's, that's just, that's just, that's just, that's just, that's nothing. I mean, you understand what he's saying, you understand what I'm saying. So it's, it's we're, the, we're, we're both correct, you know, it's, it's a matter of degree. Yes, but that's what it is. So these are conditional probabilities, the hard things. You got to decide what group, what group are you dealing with? Okay, now let me clear off my writing here and, and I'll uh, clear all drawings. Let me come back. I'm going to point to another problem that's very similar to this. Something where you can either have the answers to or something that's very similar. Okay, so there's a conditional probability. This pregnancy test problem is very similar to this. Okay. You're going to be looking at part of the group and, and not in, for the second part. For, for uh, part C, you're getting back into, into, a, into a conditional probability because you have to have a positive test. Okay. That, that's a tricky question that sometimes stump people. So I would be worth your time looking at it. And then I guess that's, I guess that's it in the conditional probability section. Okay, I'll stop this video and get it uploaded to you.